It's considered unique, but the watery vistas of Venice could soon be replicated along the U.S. Atlantic coast, setting off alarm bells in thousands of communities. The Union of Concerned Scientists is warning climate change is raising sea levels dramatically and dangerously. The expert panel predicts Miami, for instance, faces being swamped with tidal flood events increasing to 240 a year there by 2045. Paul Hunter visited the area and found a glimpse of the future happening right now. Miami Beach, with its endlessly sandy vistas, smiles on every visitor, money like you can't imagine, at least for some, and all that water. On the coast, the gloriously warm Atlantic Ocean, and to the west, beautiful Biscayne Bay. It's a big reason why the world comes to Miami Beach. But now the water itself has become a visitor. The long predicted rising seas of the world have, in effect, washed ashore in Miami Beach. These are the old sea walls. You see how low they are, the tide's right at the top of them. It's high tide, king tide, they call this one, one of the highest of the year. Now, this is high tide, the highest of high tides, but it never used to be this high. Never, never. 10, 12 years ago is when this started. Dan Kipnis, a self-proclaimed climate change crusader, has agreed to help us wade through it. Look at this. Watch this. Watch this truck. It's engulfed a downtown Miami Beach intersection. Seawater has inundated a bus stop where commuters save their shoes and climb aboard as it spills over the sea walls and pushes up from below. You know, you're not in, dressed in the right shoes, but the water's coming out of there from, from the canal. The world's water has been rising slowly but relentlessly for decades. Even here, you won't see a change day to day, but King Tide underlines Miami's deluge has begun. Global warming has expanded the oceans and low-lying South Florida is now paying the price. I mean, this is supposed to be a bone-dry sidewalk, but look at it, it's flooded and the water's deep. I'll show you, look, here's the curb. Dan's been keeping tabs on the rising water for years. He shot this video during a high tide in 2012. Having grown up here, he's seen the change. On our visit, we stopped for a chat while ankle deep to talk about the future. This is going to be gone. He and other experts predict that by the end of the century, the regular sea level in Miami will be about a meter higher than it is today. That means that the regular sea level rise will be here on me without a tide, just regular. So that means everything that you see here is going to be underwater. That means we can't live on Miami Beach. To visualize that, a research center at the Florida International University ran the predicted rate of sea level rise against Florida's existing terrain. The result? Sobering. Reminding everyone it's not just Miami Beach that's drowning. This is an upscale residential. It's a very nice neighborhood. These houses are all going to be over a million dollars, up to five million, and on some of the nearby streets. In Fort Lauderdale, we met with John Englander, an oceanographer who's written a book called High Tide on Main Street. Like this is the road, right? This is the road. This is a very nice road. While we talked, we set up a camera down the street on time lapse. The water kept coming and coming and coming. As it peaked, we turned the camera to face the other way. Yep. Homeowners we met with didn't want to go on camera, worried the attention could hurt real estate values, though for now, remarkably, even here, it's still booming, even though there's no denying what's at the end of their driveways. Bottom line, says John, it's no longer a problem only for the future. It's happening. We need to face it because this is the reality now. So what to do about it? The answer in Miami Beach you can't stop the rising water, but you can build higher seawalls, and so they are, everywhere. The city's spending hundreds of millions on anti-flooding infrastructure. 
just to give you a sense of the work that's being done, this is a pump station. These things are being built throughout Miami Beach. The idea is to take rainwater that lands on Miami Beach and pump it out into the bay. At the same time, the new rule in Miami Beach, the seawalls got to come up, and so it is. Here's the old seawall down to here. Here's the new one. They're building the entire length of the seawall. So far to this height, by the time it's done, it's going to be here. Concrete on the outside, dirt on the inside, all with one goal, keep the rising seawater out there. You know, there's new technology. Coming Leading the charge the is Mayor Philip Levine. This to us is war. Uh, we are developing our own homeland security, uh, which has to do with beating back these floods. Uh, you know, uh, I think when people see action and they see results, uh, they come on board. Uh, so we don't have the luxury of debating climate change. Uh, to us, it's all about getting it fixed, making things work. But boat through the old canals of Miami Beach and you'll see the challenge. There's a lot of waterfront. Some walls are already higher. Others are going up now. This, this guy's doing his seawall too. But even optimists say higher seawalls merely right buy time, putting off the inevitable. And yet in the face of it, they're still building million dollar condos. So denial? I'd say heavy denial. It's got Dan Kipnis kind of shaking his head. The way he sees it, there's no reason to plan for a future in South Florida, which in turn leaves him heartbroken. I love this place. I love it. There's no other city in the world like this. This is the neatest city in the world. And I'm going to have to say goodbye to it. And ever so slowly, the water creeps upward. Paul Hunter, CBC News, Miami Beach.